Welcome, I'm Anthony, this is Bad Idea Metals, and uh, today we're going to uh, continue what I was talking about in the last video. Um, so the weight of the container, I actually don't know until I pour all of those RAM fingers and video card fingers off into this uh, two liter beaker. And we're going to cover that with hydrochloric and peroxide, and we're going to let them sit for about a week. So we might as well get this process started. So it's about one and a half kilograms with the container. And they're, they're pretty close cut. Uh, if you look closely at them, they're, they're mostly just the fingers. There's no um, surface mount stuff, no no resistors and such. I'm going to end up losing these if I keep doing them one-handed. So uh, I'm going to turn the video off, but I'm basically going to be putting those in here and we're going to let them uh, simmer. <laughs> simmer is the wrong word. I'm not going to actually put any heat on this. We're going to let them soak for the next week or two weeks. And then we'll filter them like those sublimated cards over here. But that's from the last video, so let's move on. All right, I probably have enough to do that small beaker. So we barely cover them. Oh, please be enough. And we're out. Well, I was right about that. Just enough to cover all the fingers in the small beaker. So you can see right there. We're covered. So let's go ahead and put a lid on these guys. Just got covers like that. That keeps things from flying in. And as the uh, fumes uh, concentrate in there, they actually get reabsorbed back. So we'll go, we'll add some peroxide to this, but we definitely need another bottle of muriatic or hydrochloric acid. So let's go pick some of that up. Sorry, I lost my voice. I, uh, I was camping in the mountains. Um, so the RAM fingers and the uh, video card fingers, you can see that they're still all pretty much on there. You can get it to uh, swish around, but it doesn't It doesn't really let it go. With maybe some a squirt bottle or something, I could get more of them off, but it's been about a week and a half. These guys are still on here pretty good. We'll have to change the concentration just a little bit. There's also too many in here, which uh, it's it's not helping. So I'm gonna have to come up with something different in here. So we'll do that by the end of the video. So we'll set that up to the side. These are the older style fingers. Um, and you can see that they're pretty much all let go. So we're gonna process these today. And we'll see how much was in there. But yeah, that's, that's pretty clear. Huh, I, I'm excited. Can't wait to get to the bottom of this. Let's go ahead and set up and we'll uh, process these guys. So I'm trying to collect all this so I can save it. All right, so we're gonna set the, uh, the filtering solution off to the side and we're going to start putting these green fiber boards and the gold fingers down into this 2000 milliliter uh, beaker. And this one, I don't care if it gets diluted, I'm gonna rinse these off. So. Let's go ahead and pour some water into here and get the rest of these out.
you can see that there are some that have not let go but with a little coaxing i'm sure we can get them off there you go these have definitely been sitting long enough there we go so pretty nice pretty nice indeed So now I want just the fingers and I want to get rid of these boards. We're going to now use our rinsed out bin to catch the boards. We want to rinse these off and then we're going to put them all right back into this beaker anyway. So I want to make sure that I get as much of that solution from the last step off. So we're going to rinse them really well over here and then we'll transfer them back in. So now that we've got all the foils, all those fingers off of the, the fiber boards, which we've pulled over to the side there, I'm going to filter this out because we don't want as much water in this when we get to the uh, aqua regia step. So I'm gonna put this through a filter. And again, I don't have the right filters for what we're trying to do here. So we're gonna have to just make do with what, what I do have. A little bit of a poor man's operation going on here. All right, we finally have huh, all that solution, all that uh, rinse water drained, except for this last little bit. So let's go ahead and get our flakes out. Hmm, it doesn't want to move. There's so much there. <laughs> let's go ahead and pull it. It is a lot of stuff. That is so exciting. I also had to change filters. I destroyed one of the other ones. All right. Oh, that's better. Well, let's bring in and see what we got here. Yeah, I used a paper towel. <laughs> it's my uh, replacement filter. As I was ripping through the other filters with all that water. All right, well, it's time to do some aqua regia. So first thing first, we'll transfer this paper towel without without dumping it out Let's transfer it over into a clean beaker so we've got our nitric and our hydrochloric and this part is going to make fumes so you need to know um, that certain particulate masks will not protect you for this so either do this in the vent hood or do this outside as we are doing today but uh, yeah, just know that this step, this step is by far the most dangerous. So don't do, don't do this indoors and don't do this if you don't know what you're doing. So we're gonna put in about 200 milliliter of hydrochloric.
We have a small beaker here. We're going to add in about 50 milliliter of nitric. Oh, there's some cotton seed. Cotton seed in there. <laughs> well, it's gonna go in the mix, I guess. Here we go. Cover that. And we'll let that go for a little while until that doll dissolves down. Let's uh, go ahead and filter this, um, but before we filter it, let's do a quick stannous chloride test. I'm gonna take a drop out of here, just set it on. Nice little drop. Keep in mind that stannous chloride is an acid still. Look at that, oh, oh my word. You know what, bird? That's pretty exciting, huh? I'm just kidding. There's a baby bird that fell out of the neighbor's tree. And I got either the mom or the dad yelling at me thinking I did, I'm the one who got it out, so. But that right there, that's a very positive test. We got gold like crazy. So let's go ahead and start recovering it. But let me finish up what I was saying about, uh, about my little bottle here. These bottles, they corrode. You can see uh, the white in there. The rubber stopper has let go. So the plastic is just fine, the glass is just fine, but this rubber stopper, it let go. So uh, yeah, unfortunately uh, the stannous chloride has destroyed this bottle. Um, just know certain things yeah, you can store things in and certain things you cannot. First things first, let's go ahead and reduce the acidity to the, uh, to the aqua regia here. Um, if we don't, we will just be dropping gold out of solution to have it get re-dissolved into solution. So we don't, <laughs> we don't want to be doing that. Okay, so we're going to stick this cotton ball down in the bottom here. I'm going to get my other glove back on. And what we're going to do we're gonna stuff it down. And we're going to filter this solution through a cotton ball. Get a little bit more room. The solution is not as hot as it was. So let's carefully pour this down in. All right, so we're gonna have to uh, recharge our battery here. The camera's complaining of a low battery and we're gonna have to uh, let that take some time to filter through. But uh, we'll be back in a little bit before we say goodnight. So 
Before we say goodbye though, I wanted to show you the nice, awesome color. I call that almost an amber color of this slurry mix of all the uh, nitric, hydrochloric, bits and pieces of circuit, as well as the paper towel mix and filters that have gone into that. But anyway, we'll finish letting that filter down and then we'll drop the gold out of that in just a minute. Let's go recharge, yeah? All right. So it has finished filtering down, but we're gonna do some meta sodium metabisulfite on this and we will drop what we can. And uh, we may do an extra refining step. You lose some gold every time you do the refining. Yes, you lose some of the impurities too, but um, no point refining the small amounts when you can do it all over again when you've got large amounts. So we'll, uh, we'll do a single drop and see what we get. Look at that drop happen, man. That is so cool. It's got a funny lemony smell when you when you smell the the sodium sodium metabisulfite acting up in the in the gold aquaregia. It's got this kind of a citrusy smell. It's kind of an odd thing, but whoa there's a chunk in there hopefully that's uh going to be easy to dissolve down so while we're waiting for the the gold to settle out and drop out of this solution here this is the jar that those fingers were in and these are the fingers that we're hoping to get the gold back from from all of our ram and our video cards what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine both of these jars and then divide them out evenly between the two. That should give it a little more surface area and we'll reuse this acid over here. Again, this is hydrochloric acid and peroxide in both of these jars. Let's get our gloves back on. So now we have two buckets of nearly the in, the equivalent volumes with the, in, the equivalent size of uh, material. All right. <clears throat> well, these two jars with the fingers of video cards and RAM, they're gonna have to wait another few days, maybe another week. I'll process these next weekend and just see. But uh. We've got a, a good mix of solution here. Um, I don't know exactly how long this solution's gonna last. Um, I don't know how to recover the hydrochloric from it. So if you've got any advice on what to do, how to, how to keep using this solution, that'd be great. Otherwise, I just plan on uh, using it until it no longer works and then neutralize it and dispose of it. But, uh, that was about a kilogram and a quarter of RAM fingers and video card fingers. So um, we'll just keep an eye on these guys. I'm gonna put them up out of the way. All right, so it's been about an hour. Um, the liquid is clear for the most part. Um, sure, there's some brown floating still, but uh, but um, we're now going to do a quick stannous chloride test on the liquid, and it is quite clear. So I am convinced that we don't have any gold in solution anymore. 
So let's go ahead and filter this. So let's go ahead and filter this and we will, um, we'll see if we can make a button out of it. Uh, well, I'm not exactly sure how, but it looks like some of the gold has made it through the filter. So, we may have to do a cotton ball filter for this one. All right, so we got our cotton ball. Here's our crucible that we're gonna use. We're just gonna take this guy and put him straight in. We'll burn that paper. Let's go ahead and rinse out this funnel. We're gonna try this again. This time we're gonna take that cotton ball and stick it right down into the bottom. We're gonna to try to filter this one more time. All right, already, all right, already I can already see that it's filtering much better. The cotton ball is a lot slower. The cotton ball is a lot slower, but um, it is more thorough. It is gonna catch more of the gold powder. And uh, after all, that's what we're after, so. I mean, there's quite a bit of brown powder floating in this matrix here, so. Yeah, we want it all. Pretty happy with that. We don't want all that extra water. Let's try to draw it out. So, there's our brown powder. We will go ahead and insert it into our crucible. And we're pretty good about the edges. I don't see any brown powder on the edges, so we're gonna call that good right there you right there for just a moment okay so there's the filter and the cotton ball filter and we're ready to make a gold button sorry my phone overheats really easy out here I think it's about a hundred degrees who knows it's been a hundred degrees all month anyway so um, I put all that uh, the powder into the forge and uh, some borax and everything and uh, I ended up with this now it's not exactly pure I mean you can see some impurities in it but this is a lot bigger than I was expecting so let's go ahead and take a look holy cow now it's a little bit breezy and sometimes with the breeze hitting the subject it does fluctuate slightly but 10 grams 10 grams, that's ridiculous. Um, lucky day. Well, uh, when I purify it, I might lose a little bit, but still, 10 grams.
10 and a half grams. Merry Christmas to me. That was unexpected. Okay, well, um, from all those fingers, I ended up with 10 grams of, of dirty gold, and we'll have to go through about two more refinements, it looks like. Um, it does have a little bit of borax on the top. You can kind of see that reflection right there. That's a borax. When I uh, clean this up nice and pretty, uh, after I refine it one or two more times, um, I expect this will be down around nine and a half. But uh, still, that's, whoop. Still, that's pretty nice. Anyway, well, thanks for watching. My mad science experiments back here. Um, I, uh, I really appreciate everybody uh, who, who comment and, and everybody else who's subscribing. Um, if you're still watching at this point of the video, please subscribe. You might as well be. Um, I'll be, uh, I'll be doing a lot more of this kind of stuff as well as the solar panels that I've got planned for this, this shed back here. So please like subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty sweet. Good night.